Morning, fellas. Hello. I'm Joe Sugg and I am here down at River Cottage HQ with City and Guilds for the Open Doors campaign. I recently moved to London and I'm having to fend for myself and I'm cooking up quite a storm in the kitchen. Well, actually, I'm making a massive mess most of the time, but that's why I'm here. I'm here to pick up some new skills. River Cottage is an amazing place. Not just a television program, but also a working farm, a top restaurant, and a cookery school. I've been talking to the teachers and their apprentices, finding out about what inspires them, what they like about the apprenticeships, and what the future holds for them. Hey, Jen. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. What is your role here at the River Cottage? I am one of two tutors for the apprenticeship scheme. How did you get into working as a chef? I kind of fell into it. I did my A-levels and I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. I remember going out for a meal with my mum and dad and I saw a woman come out the kitchen and I was like, do women actually work in the kitchens? Because I had such kind of a narrowed view yeah. of what kitchen life that was actually like. I trained for three years and then decided to be a chef. How would you describe being a chef? Chefs come from all walks of life. Um, you can be creative, you can be incredibly passionate about food, the environment. They can be a food writer, they can travel with it, they can be a blogger, work with food sciences. There's absolutely tons of jobs that you can do from just a basic food background. And what would you say to someone thinking about taking an apprenticeship? Cooking is a very practical trade, it's very rewarding and it's very creative and having an apprenticeship scheme where you're training and immersed within that full time I think is really good. Woo! Yeah! Oh yeah, lovely and straight, just the way we like it. Hello, Hello Sam. Hello. Sam. Hello. You are here to teach me how to make bread. Yeah, flat, flat bread. Oh, flat bread, flat bread. <laughs> Bear with me. We've got about 250 grams of bread flour in our bowls here. Okay. And with that, we're just going to add half a spoon of yeast, a pinch of salt, gradually add in the water. So what made you want to do an apprenticeship? They provide you with um, credentials like comparable to what you get from uh, like university and other courses. So do you get the information and support you need for your apprenticeship? As apprentices we are massively supported. We always have access to our chef tutors um, if we need any help. What would you say to someone thinking about doing an apprenticeship? It's a great way to learn and it's also a great way of getting your foot on the ladder for a great career. Because you are training on the job you get a taster for what you would be going into so Adam, I hear you're finishing soon. What's the next step for you? I'm really interested in nutritional food and how it can benefit your body in terms of fitness and stuff like that. I'm going to look to possibly venture into that kind of work. What is the best thing about doing an apprenticeship? It's made us all a lot more confident, I think. It's been pretty rewarding and it's great to sort of have that independence. It makes you think on your feet. It kind of wakens you up to what the real world of work is about. That you're working every day with people who really care about what you really care about. And that one's about ready now. I think I've got this. Thanks for the help. <laughs> it's easy. We'll see. We'll do that. Can I do that? Yeah, it's about. How, How are you? Doing? Yeah, good, thank you. So what is your role here at River Cottage? Uh, I head up the brand, which means that I teach a bit, I present a bit, I've written books, and uh, I also look after the culture. So what do you think of apprenticeships? Well, I think apprenticeships are really quite cool. You're surrounded by people who've got the experience to share, and a career, having once gone through an apprenticeship in catering, is broad, it's varied, it's exciting. Um, I think it's definitely the route to go. So how much of this do we actually need, Steve? About half a bowl full for our mm -hmm. lunch. Perfect. How's it going? Joe? Really nice good to meet you. To meet you. Nice you well? Yeah, good. What is your role here at River Cottage? My role is Head of Education. I'm responsible for our apprenticeship schemes, our qualifications. What do you think the future holds for your apprentices? 
Many of them want to continue studying and doing an advanced apprenticeship with us. Uh, some want to move into horticulture, some want to move into nutrition and sports science. The future is pretty bright for many of our apprentices. Right, Joseph, now we're going to play it up. So, obviously, we've got our flat reds and your nicely coloured one. My uh, slightly burnt one. Raw coleslaw, beetroot, onion, mackerel that has been pan fried, and then you can decorate it with some nice fennel tops. Voila! Um, yeah, yours looks way better than mine. I think it's just the burnt bit, yes. Looking good. Did I better leaf you to it? <laughs> Do you get it? Do you get it? No? Unbelievable. Okay, so I think it's safe to say that I've learned some pretty impressive cooking skills today here at River Cottage. Being here, you get a real sense for their passion for food, and I can kind of see how an apprenticeship in catering can lead not just into a future career in cooking, but to so many different career paths. Make sure you're subscribed to the City and Gills channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Piggy, why are you walking away from me? Come back. No, not my shoes.